Although the Su-25T was built to kill ground targets, it does have a minimal capability to attack other aircraft. In addition to being able to attack air targets with low crossing velocities with the Vicar, in the same manner we discussed earlier regarding ground units, the Su-25T can also be loaded with short-range R-60M and R-73 air-to-air -air missiles. I have the lesson pause as we discuss these missiles. Go ahead and press 6 to enter air-to-air -air mode. In the bottom left corner of the HUD, we now have an LNGT indication that is short for Longitudinal Missile Aiming Mode, meaning they will need to fly the aircraft to align the target with a fixed infrared missile seeker. In the center of the HUD, we have a seeker aiming cross. In the bottom right corner of the HUD, we have a 60M indication that means the active air-to-air -air missile is the R60M. Press the spacebar to continue. The R-60M is a short-range, infrared-guided air-to-air -air missile with the best possible range of 8 kilometers. The R-60M has a small 3-kilogram expanding rod warhead, and the Seeker has a limited all-aspect tracking capability. Given a small warhead, a single R-60M hit cannot be guaranteed to destroy the aircraft. As such, you may need to fire two to increase the damage and better assure a hit when faced with flare countermeasures. Press D to select the R-73. The R-73 Archer is now selected, as indicated by the 73 in the lower right corner of the HUD. The R-73 is a very capable missile with an excellent all-aspect infrared seeker, great maneuverability, and a large warhead. The R-73 has a maximum range of 30 kilometers in optimal conditions, but the range limitation is most often based on the seeker's ability to attain a lock. Press the spacebar to unpause the lesson. I've placed a target helicopter six kilometers ahead of you. Fly the aircraft to place the aiming cross on the center of the HUD over the target. When you hear a high-pitched tone, it indicates that the missile seeker has locked onto the target. When you have a lock tone, press and hold the spacebar to launch the missile. Splash 1. I've activated another target coming at you from waypoint 1. Feel free to try a different missile, or you can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. 